Tyler Manion alongside Heath Lloyd, the new city manager for the city of Pula. First of all, Heath, congratulations on the new role. Yeah, well, thank you, Tyler. I'm certainly excited about it. I think it's going to be a great opportunity not only for me professionally, but the city of Pula. I just can't wait. There's a lot going on in the city of Pula, right? As we know, as we talk to you all about right on WTOC all the time, whole lot of new infrastructure coming in. That's something that you've specialized in in your role with the city of Savannah. What are you really looking to do in Pula once you start in this new gig? So I'm really looking to keep that movement going for that infrastructure, really looking to grab those projects and move them forward. You're 100% right, Tyler, in that the city of Pooler is a city on the move. That's what makes it so exciting. And those infrastructure projects, they really are going to impact the quality of life of our residents and allow the city of Pooler to continue to move forward. So I'm super excited about grabbing those projects and moving them to the finish line. One of the things people in Pooler talk about all the time is traffic. When you and I are talking on the phone yesterday, you even traffic. say, look, nobody likes traffic, right? It's just not something that anybody enjoys. And you know that that's already an issue as you go into this job. What are you thinking preliminarily? Obviously, you haven't gotten into the role just yet, but as you do jump into this, how are you looking and hoping to improve some of the traffic issues that do already exist there? Yeah, well, I think it's, I think it's an easy answer, but it's hard to implement. Uh, so there's a couple of things. One, we have to get the funding. I, I think, I think at, at the very center of it is going to be T-SPLOSED and really trying to move that forward. But then let's talk about how we're going to get them done. I think Pooler, when you look at that network grid, it's going to be really about expanding those roadways. you got Pine Barren, you got Highway 80. What are our opportunities to expand those roadways so that we can get that traffic in? Because just like we talked about yesterday, it is a quality of life issue. It's not just infrastructure. And I want to take an opportunity to elaborate on that. Infrastructure leads to an improved quality of life for our residents, and that's going to be fundamental to my vision for the city of Pooler. Mm. The people in Pooler obviously don't know you that well, right? You've been in Savannah for, I think, what, over four years now in your current role? Is that right? Right, 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 right. You're jumping into Pooler. What do the people of Pooler need to know about your experience and what you bring to the table? Well, I think for this, the citizens of Pooler, what I really want them to know is I do come from an infrastructure and development background, which I think really fits into where Pooler is. But what I really want them to know is that I am coming to them. For me, being a new city manager, it's going to be important for me to go to them. I'm not going to wait for them to come to City Hall. It's going to be a staple of my, my administration as the city manager to really go out to the people so that I can see those challenges firsthand. So I think me being a new city manager, not being familiar with Pooler, gives us a great opportunity for me to really go out and see some of the challenges, and it gives them an opportunity to really get to know me. They've got a new mayor alongside Karen Williams. You'll be leading this city as well. One more specific thing we have to jump into, of course, is the mega site, right? Hyundai uh -huh. doing a lot of things. We know that's a huge investment that has been made into our state and specifically will impact Pooler. How are you hoping to kind of manage the growth that that's oh, going to bring? Great, great question. So when I really think about Pooler and that opportunity, this entire region is growing, right? And I think Pooler is well positioned to benefit from a lot of that growth, but it's how we benefit. And what I, what I want to see, my vision for Pooler is to not only, as they say, live, work and play, but stay. And, I, and what I'm talking about there is to live in Pooler, work in Pooler, play in Pooler, be able to stay in Pooler all day and all night such that all of those dollars, they stay in Pooler. So what I'm hoping that this development will do for us is give us more of an opportunity to do those things. And those things are live, work, play, and stay in the city of Pooler. You shouldn't have to leave our city to do anything because we believe that the jobs and the economy that they're bringing are really going to, Pooler's going to benefit from. Mm. Of course, we'll continue to track that and how you're able to fulfill all of these goals as you continue right here on WTOC. Heath, we appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. It's certainly a pleasure. Looking forward to being the city manager for the city of Pooler. I'm going to be a proud Pooler city manager. Thank you for the time, Tyler.